Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Y. In the previous episode, we took on the first Elite Four member of this game. Today, we're going to be taking on Elite Four member number two. One of my all-time favorite Elite Four members of this game. He's actually my favorite one, to be honest with you. He's in the Ironworks Chamber. He's a specialized steel trainer. He has all Pokemon that are steel type as well as another type uh, mixed with it. So he's going to be an interesting one to battle indeed. A lot of you guys are probably thinking that Charizard could take him out all on his own, which you are indeed correct. He could, but I'm going to be using a different variety of Pokemon in order to take this guy out. He has just an amazing persona. He puts off that Thor kind of vibe. For those of you who don't know what Thor is or don't know who Thor is, he is my favorite Avenger. I highly recommend you watch the movie on Netflix if you've never seen it. I know the new one comes out really soon, so you should definitely see the first one because you'll fall in love just like I did. I honestly go gay for Thor if I... I mean, I probably would because, I mean, he's just so good look. I'm, I'm joking. This is jokes. Anyways, here we go. Well met, young challenger. Verily am I the Elite Four famed blade of honored steel Wickstorm. With my magnificent Pokemon at my side, I will reveal the scope of trainer achievement. Let us both give our word that our contest shall be fair and honorable. Ready? In God! And this is it, guys. We are going to be challenging Elite Four member number two, Wickstorm. The specialized steel trainer. Now, uh, he has four Pokemon. His first one is a Cliff Key. I honestly don't know how to... Cliff Key? Uh, is that how it's spelled? Cliff Key? I don't know how it's pronounced, so if one of you Pokemon experts want to pronounce it for me properly, feel free to do so. So, this guy is a Steel and Fairy type. We are going to Mega Evolve Charizard, and we are going to flamethrower the crap out of it. The reason why I'm actually... Because I'll be using most likely all three of my Mega Pokemon right now, or today, in this Elite Four battle. But the only one that I want to Mega Evolve is Charizard, because Charizard takes two of them out. He could honestly take them out with just Flamethrower alone without having to Mega Evolve, but the Drought makes his flames a lot, or his fire moves a lot stronger, so it really does help me. Um, and I'm not really in a rush to beat it. If I were, I probably would just, you know, sweep through it by by just using Charizard alone, but you know, I kind of want to experiment with my Pokemon. He's going to send out a Pro Pass. A Pro Pass is a Rock and Steel type Pokemon. Now, since it is a Rock Pokemon, it is immune to water, or it's not immune to, um, I was going to say it's immune to water, that's actually the complete opposite. It's not immune to water. Water is two times effective on this little bastard right here. So we're going to send out Flip Flop, send out your Pro Pass, we're going to kick its butt, look at its mustache, trying to copy Mario. Uh, yeah, you, you can't you can't pull it off while well, you're just ugly. So we're gonna be uh, doing. Oh, you know what I should have used? I should have used fighting. Fighter would have been perfect because he also does have electric type moves. I'm so stupid. I should have used fighting. I should have honestly sent out Lucario, but it's okay. Greninja is probably gonna most likely die. I'll send out Lucario and I'll be able to kill it in one hit. Um, unless I kill it with this. Please kill it. It should do enough damage to take it out. Come on. Yes, it did it. And my Greninja lived. Good job, buddy. I knew I could count on you. All right. And it's next Pokemon. It, I do not know how to pronounce that. It's Ag... Agishlash. Agishlash. I, I don't know how it's pronounced, but it's a Steel and Ghost type Pokemon. So I could either use... Uh, Gengar, or I can use Charizard. I'm actually gonna just send out Charizard. I don't want to risk Gengar dying, because Gengar 1 is level 58, 2. Um, he's not Mega Gengar, so he could have a little bit of trouble battle, uh, taking him out. So we're just gonna do Flamethrower on this and get done with it, because I know Flamethrower should be able to take it out. Uh, unfortunately, because it is a Ghost and Steel type Pokemon, none of like Ground type moves don't affect it, nor does Fighting type move affect it. So we just have to resort to using something Dark or f Fire, really, at this point. It's just good. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's it's all good, you know. And his final Pokemon is, in fact, one of my all-time favorite Pokemon in the Pokemon series. It's a Scizor. I used to be obsessed with Slyther, and then I found out there was Scizor, and then I was like, oh my god, it's like Scyther, but red with, like, claws on his hands. So yeah, I fell in love with this. It's a bug and steel type Pokemon. Flamethrower should be able to take it out in one hit, just because, uh, you know, bug and fire don't mix really well. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We took out Elite Four member number two. How easy was that? The rest are just as easy. Actually, no, that's not true. I, I just lied. The next one's actually somewhat difficult. What now? What sweet, glorious pain and joy now rock my mighty heart? 
My will will even Shakespeare's tremble at so fine battle as this. I am undone. Good sir, you are indeed our equal and worthy to enter this lofty hall. So you have struck down two of the elite four. The road is still long. Do not waver now. Yeah, I don't understand what he says. He just talks in that fancy British, nice olden days. He uses nice words, so I mean, he's he's a good guy. I like him. Anyways, that is that. We finished off the second Elite Four member. Thank you all for watching. Next time, we will be taking on Elite Four member number three, who in fact is actually really easy. Uh, the one that I'm thinking of is the fourth one, which is the water type trainer. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.